Curators are the unsung heroes for our zoos, marine parks, and even our local fish stores. Their experience heavily influences today's aquarium practices in addition to providing the science community with data that continues to help the conservation efforts for our planet. On this episode, curator Matt Hyde tells us what a curator does and even gives us some tips on how to be sustainable aquarium and marine hobbyists. This episode of Aquaparel TV is dedicated to the hardworking men and women curators around the world. Thank you for all that you do and thank you for the knowledge that you share. After enough years of experience in the public aquarium industry, I could use my experience and background to instruct the younger generation uh, for conservation efforts as we move into the future. Well, my background includes working for several major zoos and aquariums all over the U.S. Big Amazon exhibits, large shark collections, uh, collection transport, specialized breeding programs with endangered animals like crocodiles and species of sharks that uh, have never been bred in captivity before. The daily tasks of a curator include managing the animal husbandry staff. That's directing the day-to-day -day activities like feeding and cleaning, uh, filtration, updates and checks, as well as anything animal husbandry related as far as animal health concerns, checking to make sure the animal health is up to par, treating animals that need the medical attention. Now, maintaining animal exhibits on a large scale like this is very important for the species survival and continuation into the future. A lot of the people that visit animals in zoos and aquariums aren't able to see these animals in the wild. These animals are acting as ambassadors and get people excited about seeing them firsthand in order to make a conservation effort towards the future. There are several things you can do as a marine aquarium hobbyist uh, as far as helping with the conservation at home. My biggest tip, be aware of what you're getting into. A lot of people have a habit of impulse buying. You'll get a little fish, it grows huge, and they say, oh, I didn't know. Now that animal needs a home. A lot of people don't understand the care long term for some of the animals and corals they're getting into. Uh, be patient. It's not a fast moving hobby. Quick changes can mean stress and problems down the road. As long as you're well planned out, take your time and do things properly, you'll have a happy and successful aquarium.